if you guys are looking to buy some in-game items for Fallout 76, be sure to check out Easy and BC. And also guys, use code FLOPPERS, 5% discount, links in the description. What is up everybody and how's it going? Today, I'm going to show you guys why I think is the fastest method of doing the brand new duplication glitch in Fallout 76. I'm going to show you guys how to be efficient with your time and be able to do it quickly. So let's not waste any more time and let's get right into this method. Right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to pick an ally you're going to be doing this. You can do this with any ally, but I would recommend doing it with either the astronaut ally or the raider one. Now, it is quite simple. All you have to do is whatever you want to duplicate, and this can only be done with armor and clothing. So go ahead and equip those items to your ally at your camp. Now what you want to do is at your camp place a bunch of traps now you can do this with any trap i would recommend doing it with the flame trap purely because it kills your ally and if you want to be safe and have him actually stay down you can either use the electric trap or the gamma one now once you have placed down your traps and one more thing if you are planning to use the flaming trap which i would recommend do you don't have to use more than one one will kill your ally just make sure the flaming trap is actually pointing directly at your ally now go ahead and connect all of the traps together place down a button and a power source and connect it all together now once you press the button what should happen is all these traps connected to actually down your ally once you see your ally go on his knees just simply leave the lobby and if you are doing this in a private session it will be easier purely because you guys are going to be able to return quicker and if you are doing this in a public session you have to be doing it with a friend because you're gonna have to be joining back to his lobby but once you have returned to the lobby what you're looking for is for your ally at your camp to not be there and you can tell if he's there or not if you look at the bottom of your screen there's going to be a little bar and you will see if you look at your camp area there's going to be a little dot which basically is your ally now if you see that dot unfortunately it did not work so you have to repeat the process by just simply activating the trap again leaving the lobby and coming back but if you are lucky and actually have your ally not be at your camp first travel to a different location on your map it doesn't really matter where as long as you guys have loaded into a different area then go ahead and return to your camp and then go ahead and walk over to the area that he died and you guys should see a bag with all of his loot in it and if you don't see a bag and you've done it on foundation like i have what you have to do is pick up the foundation block and move it because the bag itself will not spawn on the foundation it actually spawns in the terrain so that means that the bag itself will be in the foundation so once you move it you will see that the bag will be on the ground under the foundation so there you guys go you have successfully duplicated your items and if you want to see the original ones just go to your stash box and unequip it from your ally and if you go in your inventory you guys will see that the stuff that was in the bag and on your ally if you unequip it it will be in your inventory so you guys will have two pieces of each of the stuff that was originally on your ally now one thing that you guys have to be aware of that is if you are going to be doing a duplication glitch it will take you a couple of tries because it isn't something guaranteed that will happen every single time the method i have here is designed to make it quicker compared to the other one where you have to build the stairs this is sort of like an improvement to the original method for discovered by oscar if you guys want to check out the actual founder of this glitch i will link it down below so go ahead show him some love and go ahead and subscribe to his channel but nonetheless this duplication glitch it is quite tedious and i'm hoping out this method will actually make it easier purely because comparing it to all the other methods it is the easiest because you have to press a single button to kill your ally you don't have to go and build more you have to build no stairs it is quite tedious like i said this glitch itself it is very tedious so be aware that you might have to spend some time on it and also guys be aware that this is a duplication glitch and if you do get banned it will be probably permanently because we all know how Bethesda treats duplication glitches they are very harsh on it so I wouldn't recommend you guys do too much of this or don't duplicate too much stuff because there is a very high chance of you getting banned but overall I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button I do upload plenty of follow contents and I try to keep you guys up to date but overall have a splendid day and peace out